Hey folks and welcome to Car Stars' 10 little known facts about Kowalski's 70 Challenger in the 1971 movie Vanishing Point. Fact number one. There were five 1970 Dodge Challengers used throughout the film. Four were 440 RT models and one was a 383 RT model. Fact number two. The 440 models had the 4-speed manual transmission option while the 1383 model had the 3-speed automatic option for greater ease of use during the more difficult stunts. Fact number three. All of the Challengers were actually rented out from Chrysler at a cost of just a dollar a day to the Cupid Production Studio. Fact number four. Despite the assumption within the film that the Challenger was supercharged, the only performance upgrade made to the Challengers was the installation of heavy-duty shock absorbers to handle the rough terrain and stunt driving. Fact number five. The Alpine white paint color was chosen mainly so the car would stand out well against the road and the mostly grass-covered landscape throughout the filming. Fact number six. Some of the Challengers were originally painted dark green and just had an alpine white quickie hand applied paint job on top of the factory coat, which becomes noticeable at times throughout the movie, such as in the dented quarter panel in this tire change scene here. Fact number seven. Film crew vehicles had a difficult time keeping up with the over 350 horsepower propelled Challengers, so they ended up using the 383 Challenger as a camera car to film the higher speed scenes. Fact number eight. Although the extreme driving kept the Challengers in a constant state of repair by the crew mechanics, all of the Challengers' engines were technically still running at the end of filming, yet some were immobile due to other heavy damages. Fact number nine. The Challengers were damaged so much from the abusive use during filming that all five of them were salvaged afterwards, so none of them still exist today, unfortunately. Fact number ten. No Challengers were actually used for the final crash into the bulldozer scene for the finale. Instead, a stripped-out 1967 Camaro packed with explosives was used and towed into the scene at speed by the 383-powered stunt challenger. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.